Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith of the Black of the Strat Time Report, and they came out firing, but now starting to cool off, so let's take a look at what we got here. So, uh, the SPY takes out last week's highs, All right, so it's a two up, still an inside month, but getting a little closer. So anytime you had that 60 uh, in the daily green, now you got full time from county to the upside. However, we just backed off, like I say uh, uh, all the time, every 60 is like a new day to us, and so if we go down to a 30, I'll blow that up for you. We got this. The outside bar, inside bar, 312 reversal coming back down. End of the world? No. So we're nowhere near ch t taking this back out, uh, Red, just yet. Uh, but we are st seeing a little bit of a fade. And so that's oftentimes when you have like these big furious runs on the opening. Then we get some corrective activity, and then we see what they really want to do. Because a lot of things just get caught up in the futures uh, when the things are running like that. And then as soon as we back off a little bit, we see if they really want to buy them, really want to sell them. What do they want to do here? And if we go back to that 60 now, you're going to see this. Two up by taking up the highs, 2-2 two -two reversal on the 60. And we just have a new 60 and still coming in. So we want to be aware of that. If we go to QQQ, and QQQ takes that out, and once again... 2-2 two, two reversal on the 60, 2 up, 2 down, right, now you're still here, green on the month, and you are taking out last week's highs, but you're messing with an outside bar now, if you can get back into this thing, that would be a problem, but right now in the daily, still solid green, albeit starting to fade with the rest of the crew here, and if you go to the 30, you see this, the inside bar, the 2-1-2 two, two reversal on the 30 minute cues, so if you just held off, instead of, you know, getting the FOMO in here, you get your reversal, and then we'll see how far they want to bring them in. If you go to the Dow Jones Diamonds, and the Dow Jones Diamonds, a little bit weaker. You can see that. Barely green on the day. All right, still handling inside month. So the Diamonds were a lot weaker starting off. And then this was slight higher high, and there's your two up, two down reversal on the 60. So the Diamonds uh, challenging the opening here. So that's a little bit different of a story. If you go to the Small Cappers, these guys already back red, and you can see this. If you just waited for your 60, two up, inside, 212 reversal on the small cappers, and that keeps that weak red. Yesterday it was red, and it still is. All right, so the small cappers having a much tougher time. And so, uh, you know, when people say that they just trade the futures, I always say, well, watch the four major ones against each other to see who's where the strength and strength and where the weakness is. If you just did that. Here's your short right there, small cappers, right? Real nice, and off the highs, did this. Two up, two down reversal on the 30 that set up the inside 60. And there you go. Uh, I was, always like to look at some of the gappers and UPST coming off the lows, and you can see this was nice here, even if you just stayed on the 60. Two down, two up, no lower low as yet on the 60, all right? And hopefully you get the outside day, right? Because we know that it was an already an outside month. And so if they took out the highs and the lows, they might do it again. You're just stuck right in the middle right now. But we'll see what that new 60 does over there. If you go to Okta. And Okta now going to try and come back in. You can see this here. Just I'm watching a 60-minute basis, though. Two down, two up. And now, if you made the money off of this, now you can take it short if it goes two up two down and comes right back down you see so uh, outside of that uh, a lot of these things fading but we had China coming out real fast and now we'll see if they can hold up PDD coming up here was nice fast run like that we'll see how that goes right now once again we're seeing a bit, bit of a tone change on some of these things as it's trying to go inside on the 30 and back down here it was directional up sideways into the highs that was your magnitude to take this out with which it did now potentially the 212 reversal back down. Good thing for these things is pretty far distance to take the day red, but uh, things are fading a little bit. We'll see. Uh, Baba fades a bit too here. If you go to the 60 here, there's your reversal on Baba. All right, and you can take that. When other people will like, well, it's a green on the other time frames, Rob. I'm like, yeah, but it's also a gap, which means those buyers might have just stepped in and that was it. Right, that might be the exhaustion of it. So you have the two up, two down, but now you got a new 60 bob up. If we go to Billy 
And Billy, the 2-2 two -two on a Tuesday. Two down, two up. Just hits magnitude here and stalls out. Now you got yourself an inside 60 to keep an eye on here. See either side of that one over there. Uh, if we go to D-Dog. D-Dog tries to fade off the 60, but once again, it hits magnitude. And that's, you know, when I say, when you hear me say it did its job, did its job. Two down two up and these two become an outside bar of that then the buyer's got to step up again right now coming in off that 60 but we'll see if that sets up again for us d-dog if you go to now service now okay market starting to firm up again like i said a lot of these dailies are going to have a tough time taking red so uh, we can use this corrective activity to see who the where the strength and weakness stays so here once again two down two up on a tuesday these guys become the outside bar of all that now, a little stop them out on the 60 here. We'll see how that goes. And if you got this, the good thing is it didn't gap, which means you can grab it here. Your magnitude's only there. You're hoping you can get more out of it. And then if you do and you get a sell signal, you can reverse and take the 21230 back down, right? Then you can look for another buy signal after these guys become the outside bar of that, if this sets up the hammer on the 30, right? Yep, you can. And if you go to Autodesk, Autodesk, two down, two up on a Tuesday, two two on a Tuesday, and that gives you the outside week to the upside. So whenever you see those outside weeks, you want to stay up there because that's a broadening formation. You don't want to mess with that if it comes back into it. So for this week in Autodesk, we want to stay above 215.31. Uh, You're handily there as of right now. Let's see what it does on the 60. A lot of these 60s just poking down here. So we'll see when all these things close out. Uh, if we can get the 2-2 reversals on a lot of these uh, 60s, potentially. If you go to net. And net. 2-2 two, two on a Tuesday. 2 down, 2 up. Right? And that changes the continuity because it opened the week here. Once it takes that out, magnitude was that. Your hopes you get more. Right? Once again, an outside week to the upside. You want to stay above that. And now that you've had your 2 down on the 60, if you can take this out, then you get a 2-2 two -two reversal right back up. So we can keep an eye on that going forward in the next hour. If you go to ZS. Slight lower low on a Monday. 2-2 two -two on a Tuesday. And off she goes. And now just kind of sitting there inside on the 60. We'll see if that holds. Because it's also a 2-2 two -two week. 2 down, 2 up. All right? And you're getting closer to the end of the month to see if you can take that thing back green but whenever you get closer to the end of the month you want to see what's the next two what are you closest to right now it's starting to climb back if we go to sq sq just an inside day on a monday which tells us indecision that they, they didn't make a decision yet today they said we're going to take it higher thing is it hits its magnitude by taking this out and the good thing for sq at this point the monthly you got your hammer. That's a 2-2 two -two reversal on the month now for SQ. It's kind of stalling out with the market and a lot of other things. Now you have an outside 60 potential 3-1 on that, on the 60. All right, so we'll see that, how that closes out. Uh, you got a lot of those bit kerners coming up, your Mr. Misters here. 2-2 uh, two -two hits magnitude, just kind of stalls out. But trying to go after that inside month. Good chance of inside, inside month over there, though. Be aware of that. If we go to ALGN. And ALGN, it's a 2-2 two, two week, 2 down, 2 up, and having a nice day. And here's that inside month that it took to the downside, but exhausted. Did what it was supposed to do, take that out. So we're keeping an eye on these as we get closer to the end of the month to see if it sets up the rev strat, the 1-2-2 two, two and back up. Right now, 2-2 two, two week to the upside, ALGN. If we go to the game stock for the apes, game stock, 2-2 two, two reversal week here two down two up and a nice day and you can see that just went inside on the 60 directional two one two to the upside for the game stalker and if that works setting up the rev strat month or you see this so here's your inside month target was to take out the previous month lows did it and then you got your reversal back into the range here and a nice move going on for the game stalker if we go to coop And Coop, 2-2 two, two reversal week here. Hammer, 2 down, 2 up. So for this week, 
you've been looking at 101.44 and you took that out and if that works you might be able to set up this hammer on the month after coming all the way back through and stopping everybody out all right and this was a nice gap in reverse too two down two up on the gap list no lower low still and that was ever since 76.53 trading 103 right now now it looks like you got a nice inside 60 to keep an eye on if we go to Tesla's and Tesla's that outside week to the upside that means this selling is being rejected and it's still working and you can see the broadening formation here right however this is why we use multiple time frame analysis. You might say, well, Rob, that's close to the top of the broadening formation, isn't it? I'm like, tis, unless you go to the monthly. And you'll see this. Outside month, the poke down. And now, anytime it's above this, this month, 947.77, it's backed off a little bit now. You got your 322 on the month. All right? And that's something I'd want to know about for Tizzlers. Let's see how that sets up for us. If you go to MongoDB. MongoDB, back green on the month now, an inside day on a Monday. Indecision, boom, we're taking it higher. Magnitude was just to hit this, and then it stalls out a little bit, but like a lot of things. But anytime you can have the, the 60 but go back green, you got full time frame continuity back to the upside. right? And that's what we've been talking about in the last week, about the importance of when things rally back, even though there was a lot of inside months, a lot of them turned the month green. All right, so for most of the month, we haven't been able to do that. Now we are. If we go to W Day, just another inside day to the upside, going after last week's highs and trying to kick back into full time frame continuity to the upside. All right, stalling out with market right now, so we'll see if that sets up. Market just kind of lackluster here after that gangbusters opening. If we go to Moderna. Moderna gives us the outside day, and then it just stalls out a little bit. So the old triangle out, lower low, higher high. Here's your broadening formation on your 60 Moderna. Also got your outside month, all right? So now we don't know. So now I just can keep an eye on this thing to see how does it get out of here. But when something starts poking down and then going back green here, we're looking for that outside day, which we got. It was real nice. So, uh, if we go to the 30, see this, the inside 30, after getting back into that range. And here she comes. Uh, if we go to TWLO, and TWLO, <coughs> triangles them out on the 30, the 2 2 reversal. And it was just having a nice day, but now backing off with a lot of things still, like a lot of these things trying to take those outside weeks to the upside. Trouble brews if we get back into these outside weeks. All right? So far, a lot of these things aren't doing that as yet, uh, but that's where the trouble would be. W. And W, two down, two up, just hits magnitude and stalls out, but not really backing off like a bunch of these other things here so far. Handling an inside month, so aware of that, but on the week, here, two down, and it would be two back up here, over 126.62. You're there right now. Market's still a little soft here. I'll get to that in a second, but triple L. Shenanigan stock. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this thing, but a uh, nice push here. Let's go to the 60. And so you got your inside 60 here. It takes these guys out. It, it hits magnitude. So when you have that inside bar and you're going directional, we're looking for it to take this out. And then if it comes anywhere near that, you're gone and let it set up again. Um, on the downside, not a lot of puking, but uh, Nike gapped up and then comes in here. <coughs> if we go to a 30, here's what you look for. Once it starts failing and coming down, here. See these guys? They got taken out. Two up, two down, and back into the low she goes. Nike, and that's how you play the gap game. Uh, Lily. And Lily, we know that we had this two down, two up hammer month, which takes it into the highs. Then you go into exhaustion risk, and then you have two two on a Tuesday, two up, two down. Not totally getting killed. Like I said, there's not a lot of things getting killed here, but uh, we'll see. AMD, what is the matter with you, boy? Oof. 
<laughs> this thing's been struggling for a while. And uh, back into last week's uh, range, right? Still red on the month, a two month inside pattern. Uh, but then tries to go up to recent highs and then boom. 2-2 reversal off the 30 and down she goes after hitting a little bit of exhaustion risk into here. How was that? 60. 2-2 two, two reversal on the 60. 2 up, 2 down. Uh, if we go to uh, Boise Cascade. Ooh, they got them good in here. 2 up, 2 down 60. And if that works, it gives you the 2-2 two, two on a Tuesday to the downside on the daily. All right, back into full-time frame continuity to the downside. Potentially an outside week. Uh, a little bit in the Pizza Boys, having some trouble. Domino's Pizza here, taking a 3-2 down on a Tuesday. Potentially the outside week are here too. So Domino's Pizza having trouble. And Papa John's now coming back a little bit, but that was real nice here. You can see this poke up, boom, 2-2 two, two reversal, 2 up, 2 down. And if that works, triggers the inside day to the downside. Now just trying to recover a little bit. Um, last one, SWK, not totally getting killed here either, but it is continuing that two down on the day and taking out still below last month's lows. But if we go back to SPY real quick, SPY just pokes down a little bit. Like I said, a lot of these things are going to have trouble t if being weak enough to take out this morning's opening, so we'll continue to look for these consolidations and uh, to go back up in the afternoon. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, Smith the Black, Strat Time Report.